Hey, strangers. It's a wheezy. I, I have been disappointed in how few videos I've been posting lately. Um, although I have been both dying and busy. Um, I'm going to try and get through this commentary and then I'm going to do another video right after this. Um, it's going to take a little more effort. Um, so bear with me if I sound like I'm dying, because I am. Uh, I'm going to talk about some miscellaneous stuff, um, but also some, some Medal of Honor stuff here. And uh, just kind of as a, as a quick, uh, what's going on here? This is a, a Team Assault, um, obviously Medal of Honor, and I'm using the silenced, or suppressed, more accurately, um, P90. And as I've learned through... Uh, I guess you'd call it hard experience in this game. Silencers are invaluable, i.e. extremely valuable, i.e. Uh, rarely do I play a game anymore where I'm not using a silencer unless I'm using like an LMG um, or something that obviously doesn't have a silencer. But if a silencer is available for you, you should use it. And this video may showcase some of why, although a lot of times it's it's kind of hard to point out um, exact instances, but you f definitely feel it in the game when when you you shoot somebody and um, one thing you just not suddenly being swarmed by enemies, and another thing uh, if you kill someone near another enemy like there, I just killed that guy across there, and there's two enemies right below me, and and they have giggity no idea I'm up there because of my silencer. So um, that, I guess that's a good example, good timing on that one. And then I get sniped, but because um, I stayed up high too long. Don't stay out in the open, silhouetted too long. You will be sniped. Um, and I'm coming to find that that's kind of an, uh, a tactics part of the game. That's you know, just don't stay visible to where snipers are. I'm you know that that just sucked. <laughs> Quick scoped. Um, but yeah, use silencers. Um, I guess I ought to talk about kind of what's been going on with with the channel, or more importantly, perhaps what hasn't been going on with the channel. I haven't been posting anything, um, and and as I've posted in a couple of my uh, whatever bulletins um, on YouTube, uh, I ha I've had this this cold and cough, uh, which has kept me a little bit down. But it's not like I haven't been playing games and I haven't been recording. I just I haven't been wanting to do commentaries, so. Okay, don't do commentary. Post, you know, videos like you usually do. Well, uh, my player base, my friends are all segmented right now. Um, so there's not a lot of, I don't have a lot of gameplay. Um, which is to say right now, I don't think I have any gameplay that's that's fun to listen to. Because um, I don't really have anything with any good chatter. The I think I may have one video left where I was actually playing Medal of Honor with KJ. Um, but again, it's kind of like the early ones where we're just kind of playing the game. And... And I think that's kind of the way that this game goes in general, where, um, you know, you're, you kind of feel like you're in a battle, in a war here, so, uh, you know, we, and especially since it's just me and KJ and not a big group of us, we don't, <laughs> we're not joking around a bunch, we're, we're kicking asses, you know, it's, it's a full-time job in this game, so, uh, I don't really have any of that, so it's pretty much commentaries for now, plus, um, I, even lately I haven't been playing Medal of Honor or anything with KJ, but... Um, he's been playing some Fable, or hasn't been online, and I've been online. My uh, wife has been playing a bunch of Fable 3. Um, although she already beat it, which, you know, I didn't, I don't, I haven't played any of the Fables, but she played a lot of Fable 2, and I think it took her longer to beat the main storyline of the game. Even though there's a lot you can do after the storyline, but, um, even though I wasn't playing, I was kind of disappointed with the link to Fable 3. <laughs> but, uh, side note, um, she still really enjoyed the game, um, the main storyline seems a little short. Anyway, uh, about the channel. Yeah, so so I've been playing the shit out of Medal of Honor and loving it, still loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. But Conundrum, right, um, in addition to not having a lot of uh, fun community gameplays kind of to post up, um, th there's really... Um, I mean, it's possible, obviously it's possible to get, to get good scores. Oh, here's the, the part where I... Um, here is how you successfully go and uh, get a UPS package from the door during a game. Um, find a corner with a lot of teammates, sit in it, hope you don't die. <clears throat> so that's what this strategy is here. But uh, th there's Beast Games, um, 
aren't as common in Medal of Honor. A and I I don't think that's it's a skill related <laughs> spring prayer might be uh, a skill related issue in general. I think it's it's a it's the way the game is kinda designed. It's um it's it's not a one man army. Excuse the reference to a horrible part of another game. Um you you don't just run around destroying everything by yourself. Um, there's more of that in Team Assault, but at the same token, there's, um, I don't want to say it seems like there's less to go around, but you, you can't just run through people instantly, like, two-shot and everyone like you can in Call of Duty, so not as many beast games, and the game mode that, that I love, that I think is probably the, well, my favorite to play for sure, but, um, one of the best that Medal of Honor has is, is Sector Control, which is, for those of you who have only lived in the world of Call of Duty, that would be known as Domination, or for those that realize that Battlefield did it first, what used to be Conquest. Um, you uh, essentially, you guys have seen my sector control videos, you know what it is. Anyway, that feels more like what this game was meant to be because it's, it's objective based, um, but not to the extent that Combat Mission is, where you just get half of each team or more sniping while two or three people actually try to rush the objective. Um, although combat mission can be fun and, and there's a lot of really good um, kind of struggles that can go back and forth but but it also has a higher percentage of being not fun one team may get um, you know not not have 80 percent snipers one team actually is is playing the objective and and you're on a team and you're like all right yeah let's get it going and you're up trying to defend the objective or push the objective with your rifleman kit don't smoke and shit and your entire team is sitting back sniping and you're just like what am I supposed to do? So you kind of have to get into a lucky situation where the other team wants to play and you want to play in combat mission, in my experience. Um, but yeah, sector control I think is the best one, but but a good game of sector control, and I'll be posting some of those here here soon, um, is a good game of, of sector control. And it's not kill whoring, because um, even in sector control, that's it's possible to an extent, but it's not really as prevalent as in Call of Duty games. So... Um, it's really fun to play the objectives and, and to, to capture points and to, to push up against the enemy. Um, but not a lot of those games are fun to watch. And I've been playing a ton of Sector Control. Um, and, you know, winning almost all the games of it that I play. I mean, even with, a, with, a, with an average or crappy team, if you got one really dedicated person um, pushing the line up, um, focusing on on recapturing objectives that teammates are kind of ignoring. You can you can give it a good fight and and kind of get your team um, doing enough by whoring kills or inspiring by your example to actually go and do objectives and get a lot of wins. And it's just a lot of fun. It's really intense and engaging. Um, and I think that's what Medal of Honor is all about: is is sector control, um, playing the objectives. Um, and it just really shines. So that's what I've been doing. But, but like I said, a uh, 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 a game where I feel like I did really good. You know, I'll, I'll, oh man, that game was awesome. I did good. I was protecting objectives, moving up against the enemy, pushing them back. You know, this, that, and the other. Um, getting a lot of defensive. Oh, and here's where a silencer really pays off. I shot those guys, and they didn't even turn around. Um, and got a double knife. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really intense, and, and, you know, oh yeah, we won, we kicked their ass, I you know, and I look at the score at the end, and I went 19-5, and five, you know, and that's not, you know, that's almost a 4-1, to one, you know, and it's about that ballpark, 3-4-1 to one kill to death ratio in a, in a really good game, and um, it just doesn't feel, you, after which you're like, oh, that's all I did? Well, I use a lot of defensive support actions, but um, still, it's, uh, I'm going to be posting some of those games, because they're good to watch, it's good tactics, it's good gameplay. And I think that's what Medal of Honor is all about. I was going to talk about more stuff other than Medal of Honor, but I uh, love the game. So um, there's an example of a uh, team assault. So, you know, it's good too. See ya!